I love bees from the very beginning. I got my first hive at five years old and have been beekeeping ever since. We're saving the honeybees. It's a three-way partnership, a love affair with man, bee, and flower. I came with a family that was beekeepers in 1840. They were known as the beekeeping family in Poland for their village, because sugar cane was rare. So they had to use honey. Every village had their beekeeper providing honey. As a bee inspector for 45 years, I pretty much uh, can identify any wrong going in the hive, uh, diseases or viruses or other things that might be wrong. There's the queen. You can see much longer and elongated and uh, larger than the worker bees, but sometimes hidden very well by the bees. See if I can identify some of the nectar in here. I can. I can taste dandelion in there with no question. The dandelion stands out. It's got a kind of a strong little flavor. And I can taste, and there's something else, I believe it's Russian olive is mixed in, but this does have dandelion, which is a little bit earlier. And this is honey at its best. We uncap it, spin it out, and put it right into a jar can last for a long time because it's antibacterial. That's why in the Civil War they covered wounds with honey. Bacteria does not grow in honey. And you have the perfect food. The bees work in unison, so harmoniously working together. I marvel at the way they work as a society in cooperation. Over millions of years, they've refined the social system within the colony. We'd be a better race if we could be like the bees. I love the fact that the bees are so gentle and when you properly work the honeybee hive, they do not harm you, they do not have to sting you. You may get an accident to one because you squeeze a bee, but they go on doing their thing. Honeybees work with man, unknowingly or not on purpose. The fact that they need the pollen, that they need the nectar, they in turn are providing our food. They don't know that and they don't go out and say, man needs food, let's go pollinate. They need the nectar and the pollen, and in turn they pollinate our food for us and have us survive. Here's a bee hatching out. This bee is working very hard to emerge, and we're gonna help it along. I've delivered more babies than any obstetrician. And here you can see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna deliver. Shooting its way out, and here I'm gonna help it out a little bit. There it is, the baby bee born for the first time, walking around. It's going to walk around wondering what's going on for the first time seeing the world. 40, 50,000 honeybees can get out and pollinate uh, acres of a crop such as cranberries here in Massachusetts, whereas bumblebees are 100 to 120 in a nest. They just couldn't pollinate the, the hundreds and hundreds of acres of one crop. The bees don't need us as much as we need the bees. Without them, we'd be in trouble.